How much a month would you say you to, to live your life? What, me? Now? Just me? Or if I'm in no, a relationship if, if, with if children? What would you want a man to earn? Minimum. To be able to, maybe like five, six grand a month. <laughs> <laughs> six bags? Six grand a month? What world is she living in? My name is Johnny Carey, and I'm back again to be grilled, because I don't think the shine grilled me proper. So let's see if this one can grill me. No, not at all, really. I think I've taken maybe three girls out of my entire life. No, I don't mind getting close to someone, but I just ain't found the one. So I'll be honest, I feel like all the girls nowadays, a big statement, not all, but a lot of the girls I meet nowadays, just uh, I don't click with them at all, and that's kind of level, they kind of give me the ick. Yeah, 100% I can kind of look grim. I've had it before. I've had people screaming at me before. Uh, I can definitely handle it. I am ready. Let's go. Come on, darling, you're right, yeah? Hi, are you okay? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Michelle, what's yours? Johnny. Johnny? Yeah. Nice tracksuit. Thank you. Do you always date in tracksuits? Uh, no, to be fair, just uh, it's tracksuit season, isn't it? No, it's still an effort, though. Why? Do you think I look good? I mean, it's a tracksuit. So? You look good if it was going running. Are you running this? What would you run in that? Like Muhammad Ali style, hood up, strings up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice, she's a good little salt. I sat down and uh, yeah, she's looking all nice and that. Why did he show up in a tracksuit? He's supposed to be trying to impress me. Where about you from? Leicester. No, I meant ethnicity. Wise. Philippines. Philippines. People say I look Asian. I actually, yeah, I thought you were yeah, pretty. Are you I, Asian? No, not at all. You're just English? English and Irish. Oh. I'm so quite a paddy. He, he's got Asian in him, but he's got a nice eyes. I like his eyes, they're blue. Do you date a lot? I actually don't, you know. I can't lie. I was. I feel like going out for drinks with a girl or going out for something to eat. I don't click with a lot of women. I don't know why. My, right. my, my vision on women is, is over the past year is so bad. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but girls I meet nowadays just, I don't know. Maybe it's a me problem. Maybe it's me, but I just somehow seem to find the ick in a lot of them very quickly. Maybe Michelle will be different. Like, it sounds so bad, but my view on a lot of women has just been so tarnished because of how I've seen with my own eyes, how girls move when they're around people that are buying the drinks, I've got money, X, Y, Z. I just think they're washed. But you said that yourself, girls. Maybe you should date women. Maybe I should. Yeah, and then but you I've, have that I've problem. been with some women that are older than me and they still move the same. But then they still have a girl mentality then, not they a do. woman's. So if you were to take someone out on a first date, where would you go? Probably just for either food or drinks. Do you think different women require different effort into your first date? Yeah. I think so, yeah. So if she was really special? If, of course it matters. It matters on how much I get on with you. Let's put it bluntly. If I just want to sleep with you, yeah, I'm not going to be putting as much effort in as if I actually want to see you. Sometimes, I can't lie, if, if I wanted to see someone and I really like them and I take them out, I'm not, it's not even thinking in the back of my mind, I want to f*** her after. Yeah, you just like, want to make an impression. Yeah, 100%. But if it's more time, I'm not going to just take you out. I know a lot of boys probably take her out just to sleep with them. I think that's all long. Why am I doing like 300 quid to go and f***? You know what yeah. I mean? You might, they, them boys might as well go do a brass. Yeah, it's cheaper. Yeah. I quite like her, you know. Can't lie, I think that my whole entire life I've been out for drinks with three girls and one of them was my ex. Oh, really? He's a bit of a geezer. I don't go on dates. I'm usually a very... I like the casual stuff. I like getting... It sounds bad, but like... He has a lot of casual sex. I always get myself into situations, casual situations. Starts off as like casual sex and then and then they, you start dating? No, then they start liking me, and then I talk myself out of the situation because I don't like them like they like me, and then they end up getting hurt. I have lost bad, and then I start getting used to them, and I'm like, I can see all the bad things about you. And then that's all I can think about. I was like, oh my, oh my God, just give me the ick. What, like, anything you do now, you breathe next to me, I'm thinking... Maybe that's a you problem. It probably is a me problem. It sounds like a you problem. I struggle to commit and I wish I could. So you've got commitment issues. 100%. And then in ref that reflects on the women you date them because you try and find fault because you're not ready to commit. So instead yeah. of just accepting, I don't want to be with someone and just keep it casual, you lead them along. No, no, I definitely don't lead them on. A million percent I don't lead them on. From the jump, if I want to sign with a girl, I say from the jump. Yeah, he definitely does lead them on a little bit. I don't know. Like, yeah, I, I don't know if I could trust someone. Uh, what's the point of lying? I think so. She catches feelings, but you've already been honest and said you don't want million anything. Percent. Well, then that's that's not exactly. It's not my problem. No, that's not your problem. But, but I still feel bad. Finding fault in women to find a way to wait to escape them is a fault in yourself. At the end of the day, I'm single. Like, why is she getting on to me for? Like, I can actually do whatever I want. I mean, first date, trying to tell me what to do. 
So what would a girl have to do or show you in order for you to actually want to date her? Uh, when she's out, be acting correct. I think that's my biggest thing of what I've seen that's made my view on women go different because I've seen so many, like, I, I, I know more girls that are cheating on their boyfriends than the other way around. I think women are worse from what I have seen in my entire life. Really? 110%. Like, I've seen girls move mad and they've been in that seven year relationship married and that. Wow. Yeah, it's f***ed. So you, she would just have to move correct. But move what, would, correct. what would catch your eye in a woman? So you go, oh, actually, I think she might be the one. Confidence. I like a girl who could take a joke, it's funny. Mm -hmm. like, don't take herself too seriously. I don't want a girl that's just gonna, like everyone, all these boys say, oh, I want a girl that stays home and doesn't go out. I think that's quite boring. Yeah. Like, I go out, I want them to go out, but just handle yourself. Respectfully. Yeah, always. you know what I mean? Like, I want you to have your own group of friends. But yeah, you just hold yourself correctly. You're not like a, yeah. Not like a what? Nothing, you're not just, you're not out here like fucking. Like a what? Ending up at random geezers' houses for fucking afters, like, I don't know, yeah. Okay, so she can go out and have fun. 100%. Respectfully, but mm. knows when to go home. Yeah. And knows and, where to be. Yeah. Places herself well. Yeah, and like, not a lot of people I know have, have, have been with you. I think that's a big thing. What if she's just enjoying herself, though, and she ends up somewhere, it's a guy's house with her friends? I've got a lot of girl mates that do that. They, they do it all the time. Do you know what I mean? But I would just wouldn't want to see someone like that. Mo I'm not going to say all, but most girls nowadays that I have seen with my two eyes move mad. I did not expect him to be like this. I think if you're doing all that stuff, going back to people's houses, X, Y, Z, you do what you want, you're a single woman, you could do whatever you want, who am I to say whatever. But when we start seeing each other, then you're not going back to some random, like you're the only girl there and you're going back to five geezers to... to yeah, no, that's, that's not going to nah. happen even as a single woman, hopefully. But um, yeah, you know, if you know, it was like a, a gathering, so say, I don't know, my friend knows this guy, everyone's yeah. going back to his, yeah. we're seeing each other, oh. we're going to go back, we're gonna, I'm going to sing, babe, I'm just going back to my friend's friend's oh. house, there's guys there, but there's loads of girls there, that's fine. That's calm. So as long as I'm not the only female and there's ten guys. Yeah, because that would be a bit fun. But who huh? does that? Okay, yeah, I do get that. I know some people that's done that. What, a single girl mm. has gone back with just 10 men? I'm not 10. <laughs> but yeah. Oh. Yeah. Really? 100%. Yeah, yeah. One female? Yes. Really? 100%. Okay, yeah. Well, I would know. Yeah, I understand yeah. that. I told you, my view's tarnished. It's yeah. tarnished. I hate well, it. Well, I don't know what kind of women you've been surrounding yourself with. I need to surround myself with different women, but I just... He's got a very negative mindset. We really need to change that. So, would you get married? 100%. So you would get married right now if right you found the right person? No, nah, not right now. Oh. This is married at first sight, no chance. <laughs> no, I don't mean right now, this second. Oh yeah, would I get married? Like, I, I think now, if you met the right person now... It, it, it depends, I'm in love, um, you know what I mean? But you believe in love at first sight? Yeah, I do. So if you fell in love, have you ever been with someone and fell in love with them at first 100%. sight? 100%. You have? Yeah, I was in a four-year relationship. But then that, that didn't last? No, she left me. Oh. Yeah, Sorry. she just didn't love me no more. She, she didn't love you anymore? Yeah. No, I'm hard work, I think. I'm a good boyfriend, but I'm hard work just because... Why, why are you hard work? Just, I'm... Um, mind control? My mind, yeah, my mind's fucked a bit, can't lie. So you can't control your own mind? Uh, no, my emotions are a bit, you know what I mean? And I, I, I get a lot of negative thoughts in my head, but in regards to actually being a loving boyfriend, I'll do anything for you. I, I just, I want to give that to someone again. Oh, bless him. Can't lie, I'm ready to sign up. I've, I've been in the game for four years now. I've done my part. You know what I mean? Most people that I see nowadays, straight after I'm laying there and I'm like, I just want something. Because you're not building a connection with this person. Because I don't rate them like that. You're just having sex. Sex isn't something you're supposed to just do for fun. As great as you might enjoy it, it's not actually, God didn't say, oh, come here and have sex with everyone. Yeah, we can you're have a little cuddle after. No, you know I mean? Chill. you're supposed to build a connection. You're supposed to get no, to know no. someone on a spiritual level, have a connection, and no, then no. sexually, you are already connected, then you'll have an amazing sex life. What is this, therapy session or a date? <sighs> That's what I figured out. So where did you grow up? What was your childhood like? So the first four years of my life, I grew up in Labrock Grove. Where's um, that? West London, okay. Notting Hill. Um, don't really remember that too much, but it's where all my family's from. And then when I was four, uh, my mum and dad moved me out of there because it's not a very nice area. Okay. Um, so further west, so I'm in Uxbridge. But I had a good childhood, yeah. I had a proper good childhood. Uh, my mum and dad have been together the whole entire life. Uh, so you were raised on love? Yeah, 100%. Love. He seems really family orientated. My dad's old school, isn't it? He's never told me he loved me in his life. But, like, really? I know he, yeah, he's probably old school. My dad's a miserable bastard. Is that old school, though, or is that just like no, lack school. of emotion? No, he's, old, he's very lovey dovey with my mum. Just not. But he just doesn't love me. And you. his daughters, he is, but not his sons. Oh, so they raise you to it's be a man strong to man and thing. Firm. It's a man yeah. to man thing. You but can't do it. But you can feel the love, he just doesn't need to say it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is wild.
Will you ever say something like, Dad, don't you love me? Bit of a deep one. The only <laughs> time I've said that, he had cancer two years ago oh. and he was in hospital, thought he was on his deathbed. So I thought, I'm not going to see him again. I think he's going to die. Yeah. On the phone to him. <laughs> it's funny now because I think, well, what a <laughs> But I was, on, I was on the phone to him, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, whether he's being very depressing and that. And when I went the phone call, I went, I love you, Dad. He went, yeah, sweet son. <laughs> End of the call. So he we couldn't just can't say it. say it. And then when he got better, and it made me laugh in the moment, but I was thinking, like, why can't you say it? And then when he come home, it, like a week later or something, I said to him, well, the other day when I spoke to you, I said, I, I, I told you I love you. And like, I'm thinking, like, you're going to die. die. And you can't yeah. say it back. And he's sitting there, well, well. I'm like, stand there still. I'm like, well, you can't tell me you love me. He's like, you know I love you. He said, like, why are you even. So he did tell no, you. Yeah, he, he does, you. but it's like getting blood out of a stone. But I don't care, innit? Because he's it's saying, just words, and actions mean more than 100%, words. 100%. And he's just. He's just old school. Like the way he was raised, he, he used to he was piss poor. Like, he, he used to tell me he, he used to burn shoes to keep warm. Shit like that. He used to tap dance for money in the street. Aww. So he was poor. So he's got a very strong masculine yeah. my, survival mindset. Yeah, and my granddad, his mum and his mum and dad had a proper Irish upbringing, so like proper strict like, yeah. like back hand around the ear roll and shit like that. Yeah. yeah, the way it should be. Yeah. Ah oh, yes, I agree. Well yeah, that's the way it should be. I got hit as a kid. I got I? beat as a kid. Yeah. I think beat. it should be like that. No, it should be. 100%? 100%. I'm smacking my kids. My, yeah, all day long. Bam. I didn't think we would, but we're actually agreeing on a lot of things. You seem like a good match. What is it? Okay, your child's being naughty. Sit on the naughty step. Nah. What the fuck is that going to do? Do Give you know what? I roll. think, you know that saying, kids that don't hear must feel? I think nothing, not like... You know, oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Up, don't but beat smack. your kids up. I smack, 100%. Hand out. Bam. Yeah. Do you um, earn a lot of money? What? Is she for real? I do, all right? How much? You can't ask me that. Why? Why? What, you're my accountant? I could be. I actually asked me. Why, why does everyone ask that? I think Cheyenne asked that as well. Like, that's the, that's, that's, it's a respect thing. Yeah? If you respect me, you should not be asking. I think that's the same equivalent of me asking a girl, honey boy, you slept with. The only person that knows how much I earn is, is you. me and my accountant, which happens to be my mum. Even though she's not an accountant, she just does my tax returns. Does she? Yeah. Do you earn a lot? Yeah, I earn a nice, nice bit, yeah. A nice bit. He's successful, that's just my type. That's a bit mad. I don't like being flash. I hate flash people. Okay. I feel like more time people that go about flaunting it ain't really, ain't really got, got it. got it. They're just trying like, to force like they do. A lot of people that you see out wearing a Rolex probably spent 10 grand on that, but Have they had 11 grand. Rolex on? Yeah. Oh. But they had 11 grand in their account and they left themselves with a bag. Would you buy your wife a Rolex? 110%. I'll really? spoil my wife. Really? Yeah. So are we getting married? We have to see. Play your cards right. Wow, you just rejected me. I didn't reject you. I said you play your cards right. Is she just after the money? Is that what it is? I'm skimp, babe. So if we were together, mm -hmm. would you be able to provide the lifestyle that I'd want to live? What is your lifestyle that you want to live, babe? I just like to live nice. You like to live nice? Yeah, I don't like flashy. I don't like overdoing no. it. No. But I like... Comfort. Nice your holidays. If I want, yeah, if I want to go on holiday, like, babe, do you know what? I've had a long week. Can we just fly out for the weekend? Yeah. Oh, sweetheart, I can't get it off work. Or, oh, actually, I can't afford it. Can we go next month? I don't want that. Mm. You know, I want to just. She's seeming a bit high maintenance now. I want a man that's going to provide for me, and I'm not willing to settle on that one. I have that. If I want to fly out on the weekend, I can fly out on the okay, weekend. Okay, good, because I was going to contradict you there. Yeah, yeah, no, I can do that for myself. Cool. So I want a partner that can do that too. I don't want to be like yeah, I can do that. paying for you to come on holiday with me. I'm my own boss, so I'm self-employed, so I can fly out tomorrow if I want to. And then if we have a child, yeah. and obviously I'm not going to work now because I'm not at home work? with the baby. Okay, yeah, I rate that. Yeah. Not a lot of women are like that. Oh, I'm, my career's gone. This whole generation is, is so... You're not even a feminist anymore. It's just you want to overpower men. That's what I ask Yeah, you. no, I just... Me, personally, how I am... I'm a mother before anything else. No, that's very attractive. So if I, I have a child, I'm staying at home. To be fair, she surprised me a bit. When I sat down, I thought she was going to be very different to me. But yeah, I, li I like her old school traditional uh, views. Yeah, it's a rare mindset in today's society, 100%. That's, that's very attractive. it. I'm not yeah, working. Yeah, my that. career's gone. Yeah. Me and my child. Yeah. Are you going to keep me going? 100%. We are actually agreeing on a lot. But then again, if a woman still doesn't want to work in that situation, then she can do. But I'm... Um, Want happy for someone she to will go back. To, I mean, I would go back to work, yeah, but I think the, the first two years yeah. essentially are the most important. I feel like a woman as well is more motherly. Yeah, we are. We are the maternal yeah. ones. That's yeah, why we have the children. That's exactly. why we're supposed to stay at home. I'm not going to have a child to let the system raise my child from six weeks old. Oh yeah, see you later. No. And isn't I, it bad as well? 
no matter how good of a dad you've got, anyone in the world, a, a, a son will always say they love their mum more. I don't know, you know. I think kids love their parents. If you're an active dad and you show up for your child and you're there, your child will love you. Naturally, organically, they just nurture towards Because the moms nurture them more mm. and men are more tougher on their, on their sons more. Yeah. But their love will always be the same for yeah. their parents. And yeah. I think both parents are both as equally as important in a child's life. No, no oh, one can 100%. say, oh, you know, the dad doesn't matter as much. I think the dad matters the exact same as a mum. Yeah. If the mum is the nurturing, the caring one, and the man is the, you know, the pressure and the yeah. whatever he's supposed to be, they are both equal roles. The, yeah. I don't think that women are more important in a child's life. She's got a really good mindset, I can't lie. What's your favourite sex position? Okay, the one that, that always, always is banging is... If they've got a nice face, which more time they would, yeah, missionary. But I think, I like this one, yeah. But they've got the... Oh, hold on, the movement's coming up. <laughs> I can't watch. The, the one leg up there on the side, yeah. But then this leg straight. So it's not a doggy, it's like a sideways doggy. So it's like a spoon, but with a leg up? No, nah, that's, that's sleepy sex. That's when you're in the middle of the night, wake up at three in the morning, and you just, yeah, quickly yeah. slip it in. But that's not them ones. That's a, so you're on your front of that. He's still going. Okay. So you've got your right leg up or your left leg up. Right. So that way I've got my hand on your ass, mm -hmm. yeah, and, but I can still hold you and look at your face. Because you're like that. Trust me, that's the one. Because then you've got ass, tits and face. What even is that? You've got the best, you've got the triple threat. Oh, what's that called? I don't know, that's, that, that's like a speed bump, but one leg, leg raised, isn't it? Speed bump? It? Yeah, because the speed bump's when you're just laying flat and your bum's up, but you're not in doggy. I don't really like doggy, you know. Why? I don't know. I prefer speed bump. I feel like you're really passionate about this topic. Yeah, I've I, um, I got a high sex drive, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my sex drive is that, yeah, I reckon you're a giver. You definitely love giving head. There's no two ways about it. <laughs> I see the little smirk on your face. I was just yes, smiling you did. at your And you swallow as well. Wow. Eye contact the whole time. Wow. That's you, you got is good Is that eye your contact. assumption? Yeah. Thanks. I know what she's up to. Yeah, trust me, I read it like a book. Oh my God. 100% you do. <laughs> And I reckon, yeah, you, oh, more. I reckon you'll give her like that, so you'll give your man head like, for time, just because you want to do it out of your own pleasure. That is definitely you. But then at the same time, you'd like to make someone horny to then rattle you. Like, you'd have to tease someone till they want to rattle Am I giving you. you off that vibe? Just, is that what you're thinking? I don't know, it's looking into your eyes, that's what I'm thinking. Wow. So you see me and you see that. Mm. He is staring into my soul. Thanks for your um, yeah. viewpoint of me. How, am I far off my own? What am I? I guess you never know. <laughs> I'm definitely on the ball. I'm on the ball. I think he likes me. She definitely likes me a little bit. I've had get multiple girls cheat on their boyfriend with me. And I've seen it live. Oh, girls moving mad on holiday with me and my mates. And like, I'm thinking, oh my days, this girl has a boyfriend. Like, what is she doing? You are but terrible. But you're still doing it. I'm not in the wrong now. But you're still entertaining a woman who's in a relationship. I didn't know that. You don't know it until it, in the moment. Oh, been, so you're having sex? I've been sleeping with someone. Way, I've been sleeping with someone. Their phone's belling off, belling off, belling off, belling off. I'm going, I've said to them, "Who's that? Like, like, have you got a boyfriend? Nah, it's just someone I'm chatting to. Cool, ignoring it, whatever." A couple of days later, yo, do you want to go out for drinks? I've actually got a boyfriend. I've been in a relationship for three years. It's like, and and uh, your Insta is full of relationship posts. You'd think I know all those some girls that are actually evil. I swear to God, like it makes you sound traumatized. I am evilness. You look on their Insta. They're so lovey dovey. They're so loved up. And then I know what they're really like behind closed doors. And I just think like, women are worse than men, I think. Because the men will never find out. Men like to brag and shoot themselves in the foot if they're cheating. Women can fuck a geezer and not tell one single person. Do you really believe that? I believe that, yeah, from what I've seen. From what you've seen? From my eyes, I think girls are worse than men. Evil, satanic, you know what I mean? Bad, like, it makes me feel sick. Like, makes me lose faith in women, I can't lie. This guy could make a book with how many stories he's got. Men naturally are more cheaters than women. Maybe women are better at it, but I think men do it more. No way, bruv. Okay, I think, but I think a man can cheat with, I personally would do it with no feelings and it's just sex because mm. I know I've had sex with people and there's absolutely nothing there at all, like at all. Yeah. Whereas I feel like as a woman, if you can just cheat and fuck someone, I feel like you've got to fancy them in some sort of There's way, you've got to like that personality or something. Well then that, wouldn't that make sense that men cheat more? Because they can just they might have cheat sex more. with anyone. Yeah, 
But in my personal life, I know more women that cheated than men. So I only know men that have cheated. I know both, but I know more women. No, grow up. I would never. How old are you? I oh, just grow up. I would just never. You would never fight. You need to grow up, babe. Why? You need to be having a shit open your legs and I can piss through it. That is vile. That is absolutely the most disgusting thing. We need to be like that. To we're me. together, we need to be like that. And we can be like that without that it's kind of fart. grossness. Yeah, but I don't want to do that around a man. Cool, I, I, res I respect it, yeah, because I want to I wanna keep you as sexy as possible. Yeah, innit? facts. I, yeah, 100%. But if one zips out, I'm not going to think But it. that's... That's not an ick for me. Yeah. It's not feminine. It's just not, it's never, you'll never see that from me. Women, man, any situation, never happening. No, no. just never, no. Have you, ever, have you ever gone to the toilet to have a shit and a man? That is disgusting. What, you don't poo no? I just don't talk about it. No. It's just not something that a woman should speak about so casually. I respect it. It's uh, just a thing, like, you, there's certain things we need to talk about, certain things that don't need to be spoken on. I think I'm just trying to match the energy of 2023 of what women expect. That yeah. thing to be like, but you're very I'm different. I'm more like 1940s. You yeah, I wouldn't say 40s. I don't, any woman in my life, my mum, my aunties, I've never heard them for, I've never heard them say, I'm going toilets to say something like you just said. Nah. I would, they wouldn't come out of their mouth. That's banging. It never happened. That's nice. No. <laughs> nah. No, never. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be bothered by it. It's just not yeah. very feminine. No, exactly. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. it's just not very feminine. Hey, she's actually different, you know. No. Why? You're obviously at a different stage in your life than me. Why? Have you got kids? Mm hmm Oh, you do? Mm hmm So that's why you said yes? Yeah. Exactly. I just think it's easier if you have children to date someone with children because they understand your life. Because you, yeah, because you got, exactly, we're at a different stage in our lives. I haven't yeah. got any children. That hasn't even come into my mental fucking, whatever you want to call it yet. Like, I haven't even thought about that. So being a dad, let alone being a stepdad, yeah. is not even coming to mind. So my... you wouldn't consider it ever? Not at this age, no. There's no chance. Like, at least tick me over 30 or something. Like, you know. So if you met someone and she was amazing, she was everything, but she's like, oh, do you know what? I've got a kid. I've never been in that situation. So would you write that off? Or would you say, oh, actually, let me just explore this and see? I don't know. I don't know. It depends who the girl is, isn't it? I've just never been in that situation. What is it about a woman with a kid that you're just like, nah? I've slept with a woman with a kid. Okay, that's completely irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> completely irrelevant. Got a funny story about that, actually. Okay, you have a lot of funny yeah. stories. You come in the room and he, um, Actually, uh, oh wow! I was in bed uh, with this girl. It was at like five in the morning. She had a kid in the next room. The kids about four, five in the morning. My foot's hanging out of the bed. Comes to the bedroom, starts squeezing my toe. Yeah, I woke up, seen him there. I elbowed. I gone, no, oh, like, you know what I mean? She jumped up. He's gone, Dada. <laughs> Picked up. I said, No, it's not your dad. Put him in the other room. <laughs> yeah. I would be mortified. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I literally woke up to a little kid squeezing my foot. I was like, 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 and what did she say? Nothing. I didn't really bring it. I started laughing. I said, oh, I'd be all good at it. And it was just someone you were sleeping with? There was no romantic connection there? No. Do you judge her for having a one night stand with someone no. while her kid is in the next room? No, I feel like a woman will have to, still has to live a life regardless yeah, I don't of whether she has her. children. Mm. It wasn't her fault her son's walked in. It was just an unfortunate situation. She had her situation. own house, everything. Like, she's doing it right for herself. Yeah, it was just so an like, unfortunate situation. There's no yeah. judgment there. She, um, you know, everyone has needs. But I do think what she done wrong was let me see her kid when I come there. I don't think... Oh, so you met his, her kid prior? I wouldn't say met, but like he saw me come in the house. Yeah, and, yeah. And I don't think... I, if, if, if I broke up with my girlfriend, yeah, and we got kids together, I don't want another... Unless you're Random proper man. proper seeing that geezer, yeah. I don't want my kids seeing random No, they geezer. shouldn't be seeing it. It's very shouldn't confusing for a child to just yeah. be seeing random men coming 100%. in. 100%. So I think that was wrong. But other than that, no, I don't really... Him coming in was out of her control. Yeah. He actually seems like a really good guy. That's the stay-at-home stuff, isn't it? Well, can't. it's just traditional. The man is the man, the woman is the woman. Yeah. They play their parts. They become a powerful force together. 100%. I think men have roles and women have roles. Would you be happy if your wife just never wanted to work? No. So she'd have to work? No, you've got to have some sort of drive. You can't be a bum. Uh, that's another thing, like... Oh, done. You can't be a bum. But what if she wants to just stay at home with the kids and she doesn't want to go back to work? My girl could never be a bum because she wouldn't be my girl. She wants to do the school rounds and the after school class. Yeah, but how long does that last? I don't last forever. Okay, fair. Okay, well, till the kids are of age. Yeah, that's cool. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. But if you just... That's another thing that I don't get, yeah? Is that, obviously, I always pay for everything in a relationship. Yeah. But like, I think the girl should pay sometimes. Like why yeah, now? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, why are now you my girlfriend? So now your life is free. Yeah. 
No. You know what I mean? Why yeah. are you like, well, now I'm paying double on everything just because you're my bird? Like, yeah. Like, what is this? I'm not going to pay everything that I will do, but like, in the back of my head, I don't want to, I don't think I should do, but like, you know what I mean? Offer. I do think the man should handle the majority of the finances. Yeah, and I do. Yeah, but I do think if you're in a relationship, there will be times the woman will pay. 100%. Like, babe, don't worry, I'll get this. I'll get this. 100%. You can't sponge and live off a of man completely. Yeah, no way. But as, a, as an overall provider, it would be the man. Some girls go out without a purse and away home. Single girls or relationships? No, single girls. Yeah. And but, that, like, but is that the woman's fault or the man's? Because they know full well a man is going to pay for their night and get them home safely. Yeah, but you're a bit of a scumbag if you don't. Ain't that really? But then are you a bit of scumbag because you went out without a purse or a way home? Yeah, you are. So scumbags you think attract you're 10 scumbags. Out of 10. You're a bit of a bitch, isn't it, really? If you go out without a purse to a date, like you, even though you know it's going to get paid for, it's the fact that you ain't even I will always come offer. into your head. I will head. always offer. What have you offered to pay? I say, yeah, go on then. I will never see you again. Yeah, but why'd you offer then? Because I want to see what kind of man you are. Okay, I hear that, yeah. I because want I only see... want you to offer, I'm always going to turn it down. I'm always going to offer and I'm always going to expect you to turn it down. Because yeah. the second someone and I'll says, turn it down. oh, do you know what? Yeah, you can have this one. I'm going to think, well, no, I would not like that. Yeah. I'll pay the bill and you'll never see me again. And it's not even because I don't want to pay or I don't mm. want to contribute. It's more because now I see you as not very masculine yeah, as a man. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. as a man, you are meant to be the main provider. I like you are your supposed to do that. Yeah. But I'll always offer because I'm not a scrounger. I think it's different, yeah? If you're just starting to get to know someone, I think I'll pay for everything. Yeah, facts. Once we're together... Once you're established, then, it becomes then you're a, a bit, team. Yeah. Then you split things. things 100%. Things, you will still be the main provider. I'm not saying that. Mm. I will always pay in a relationship or, you're like, babe, I got you this, you need this, or is you fucking ran out of boxes. I've bought you some boxes, or I'll yeah, get this yeah, one, stuff fine. like that. Yeah. But as an overall provider, it is, it is the man. And especially in the initial bit, I don't want to have to pay the for anything. initial bit, 100%. I don't want to pay for anything. When I'm getting to know you, why am I paying? On a subject of money and that, do you have like a minimum annual income that you want your fella to earn? If I'm going to settle with you and we're going to have children, I don't want my lifestyle to change. Mm. Or, I don't know, we go from having this beautiful life because I'm bringing in so much money, and then now I can't work and he works a nine to five yeah. and I can't even afford to do a food shop. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not about a specific number. I would like you to just be able to match the lifestyle that we have and then maintain it when I can't do it anymore. I like to work. I like my career, but I will be a mother before anything else. Yeah. And I, might, I shouldn't have to let my lifestyle How much change. a month would you say to, to live your life? What, me now? Just me. Or if I'm in no, a relationship if, if, with if, children. What do you want a man to earn? Minimum. To be able to, maybe like five, six grand a month. <laughs> Six bags, six grand a month. What world is she living in? I bet she ain't even talking about before tax either. I mean, a tax man, you got her. Yeah, that's a mad number. Like, a lot of people do not earn that. I understand that. So you've got high expectations. But yeah. I provide a high expectation. I'm a very... What, are the, what, are the, what makes you worth six grand a month? What makes me worth six mm. grand a month? Because that's a lot of money like, for the average person. Yeah, but I don't, I'm not an average person. Okay. Good so answer. I won't ask for an average person. I'm not here to date you, an average what you, man. What makes you six grand a month? What makes me six? I'm hundred grand a month. I am. <laughs> I am. It's not even an egotistical, egotistical way. I'm not even big headed. I know what I am. I know what I bring, and I expect the same. <laughs> no, but I think as a woman, I will give you anything that you need. I'll provide anything that you need. You know, you won't ever have to do anything around the house. You won't ever have to do anything with the kids. You won't ever have to. Your feet hurt. I'll rub them. Your head hurt. I'll run you a bath. Anything you needed, you have. Financially, I can provide too. Do you know what I mean? I work, I graft. Mm. My mindset is very different. So I wouldn't ask someone who hasn't got that same mindset, that hasn't got the same capabilities, that hasn't got that same drive. You would have to be able to match that. And if I can bring in five, six grand a month, you need to bring in six, five, six grand a month. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's not about whether I'm don't, worth it. I am worth it because I already do that. So you need to be worth it. Don't you think that there's people that are living on a doll that can still give the loving, caring... It's not yeah. about the loving, caring. Loving, caring only goes so far. I will give you everything. There isn't a second you would go without anything. Yeah, I'm the same. In a you will leave the house so happy every morning. You'll be fed. You'll be <laughs> content, overly content, every single day of your life. For the rest Why of your life. Why are you single life, To have what I want, it's not, it's rare. It's rare. Yeah. And I look for rare because right. I am rare. So she's got this big, massive checklist. She's so perfect and such high standards. Why is she single? I'm not an average person. I'm not looking for average. Of course you do. Do you enjoy it? 100%. But you love it? I love it. Do you? I actually love it. Can't lie, I'll be down there for time. How long? 
there's no time limit. An hour. I've been down an hour before till my tongue's numb. Really? Yeah. Boys, stop lying for the camera. Stop pretending you don't do it. If you got a girl and you don't eat her out, like, fuck me, she deserves a better boyfriend. Like, what are you doing? You should go get it off another fella. So you really, really enjoy I it? I like it. But there's a fine line. If it's, then I don't do it. What's? Like, if it looks a bit, eh, or it's got a bit of a whiff to it, then there's no chance of going down. Whiff. I love seeing them squirm. Wow. Yeah. Really? Just love keep going. Yeah. When do you stop? When my tongue's aching, I suppose. Really? Yeah. Or I just want to fuck them. Do you prefer there. that to receiving? No, I like that just as much. <laughs> like, I'll talk to you, tell me, look at me in the eye. I hate when girls are shy. Some what? girls are so shy. When they're giving? Yeah. In everything. Mm. Like, you've got my cock in your mouth. There's nothing more like, we can go like, you know what I mean? Just look at me. It's about you, get into it. Like, I'll lay on the bed, sit on me, calm. I'll lick your ass as well. <laughs> everything up and down. All day long. All day long. Anyone? Oh no, 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 not anyone. You've got to be like proper, good looking. You, you got to. It's got to be all intact down there. If it's all falling out and that, like a lamb on like it's not. I ain't licking it. Nah. And if it smells, I've had some girls that like stain my tongue. Like I've <laughs> drunk hot chocolate and it's made it furry. You know them ones when it burns your tongue for days. <laughs> oh, God. Swear to God, like you've got deodorant in your mouth or something. It stained me for days, days. And I'm like, mm. and it puts me off. And I'm like, they must have like, gone a real Wait, something. so hold on. You still went down there, knowing but, it smelled? No, but this is what put me off. He couldn't wait to get that out. So now I used to... You used to? <laughs> I used to just, yeah, go down there because I like doing it, whatever. And then I had a couple ones which was like, oh my God, this has made me realise some girls ain't all that, whatever. Yeah. And then now it's more of a, if I'm with you, I'll have a little butcher's. Yeah, if it looks all right, cool. Then we'll do that one. Have a little feel. And then there might be this... Just on the, just smell it just to see if it's all good. Otherwise, I'm not going down there. I got, and I will say to you straight, if I go down and it smells, I can't. I will say I can't. Like, it's, yeah, get in the shower. I've said that before. Really? Yeah, say it straight. Uh, it is. I'd rather be brutally honest. Why am I going to put myself through torture? Like, I want to do it, but get in the shower. It is torture. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. There's a fine line. It's either really, really nice, or I might as well be gay. <laughs> I swear to God, it can either be like really nice or like, oh, like get that away from me. That is. <laughs> That's just a no-brainer. If you ain't clean and you're smelling jank, like, why have you even come to meet me in the first place? At least he's honest. What if I slept with one of your ops? My ops? Yeah. I ain't got any ops. Thank fuck for that. He doesn't have ops, thank God. Ops, yeah? I do YouTube. What if I slept with one of your friends? Then there's no chance. What if I still sleep with you. But we wouldn't never get past that. What if you didn't find out until after we was in a relationship? Then you're a <laughs> So is my friend for lying to me. He's not my friend. I'll probably have a row with my friend. Really? Like, because if my friend's seen you naked and done things with you, you are not mine. We could be out and they're there. He's seen you naked. Yeah. You know what I mean? He has sex with you, like. To me, What if it wasn't, like, a close friend? I don't know if I could. I'd rather you sleep with 20 people that I don't know than two or not. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I can't lie, I ain't got time for having a headache and being stressed out. I'm just trying to have an easy life. He has got a point there. If we go into a room and you've slept with two people in a room, I don't, I don't want to know. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss. Yeah. You know it, was, what I mean? it was before me, I don't need to bring exactly. it Exactly. You know what I mean, it's nothing to do with me. It's before me, whatever you've done. But if I was to ask you, I want you to lie. Don't hide it. I would never lie. Yeah. What if I couldn't cook? Yeah, you've got to cook. I cook, so you've got to cook. What if I couldn't cook? Then I'll teach you to cook. So it wouldn't be a deal breaker? No, it wouldn't be a deal breaker, but... That's what like, if I that, said to you, babe, I can't like, cook, you need to do all the cooking? I'd teach you to cook. What if I don't want to learn? But then you need to pattern up and learn <laughs> to cook. That's like saying, oh, I don't drive, but I'm not even trying to drive. Yeah, but some people don't want to drive. Yeah, but then they need to sort their lives out. But some people don't want to cook. People that don't want to cook and don't want to drive, what are you doing then? How are you eating and how are you getting to places? Public transport. Why would you choose away. to get bus? Some That's people nice can't thing. afford to drive. Okay, yeah, cool. I hear that argument. But other than that... There ain't an argument. So would you pay for her to start driving? Yeah. You would? Yeah, if it was, about, if it's, it. If it's a money thing, 100%. But if it's not a money thing, it's anything else. That's the only excuse, I think, is a money thing. You've got to know how to cook. Like, it's basic fucking survival. Like, how are you living? You, like, it's, that, that basically tells me that she get, either lives off takeaway or her mum still cooks her food, which is perfectly fine, because my mum still cooks me dinner. But I can cook, and I cook every day. It would more be unattractive that you're being fucking lazy. Yeah. Learned, learned, it's, it's more your mindset that would turn me off. I was talking to a girl before and she loved the vape. Like, no, but like, loved the vape, innit? Yeah, it didn't leave her around, yeah? Yeah. Obviously, cool, you're vaping, whatever. I think that's jank, even though like, I don't mind it. A little ponce and a night or something. It was more the mindset for me 
I said to her, what, don't you ever, like, don't you ever want to stop vaping? She went, no, I love it. I'm going to do it my whole life. <laughs> your mindset is you don't want to stop. Like, if, even, yeah. if you, even if you do it for the next 10 years, but in the back of your mind, you hate that you do you it. You know you need to stop. Yeah. You know it's not good. It's, it's like, not serving a purpose. Yeah, you can't cook, but you don't want to cook. Yeah. You don't want to learn. Yeah. Like, you don't want to better yourself. You don't want to better yourself. You need That's someone who constantly wants to evolve 100%. and grow. 100%. That's what I want. It's about drive and, and mindset and actually wanting to be a better person. I, yeah. That's all I do is try to be a better person. It's definitely a big stuff to your heart. What if I wanted to start on OnlyFans? No chance. Must be mad. If that, I can't like. If that conversation even come up, I think I'd break up you then. Really? Yeah, I can't. So like. that's just a, that's the deal breaker. I think Only that's an obvious the obvious deal breaker, breaker for most men. And it, 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 there's this whole thing of like, are you insecure if you don't let your girl do OnlyFans? I'm a f go find a man that likes that. Then he's probably a weirdo. I mean, probably Some a cuckold. Some men don't care though. Some men say like, oh, I'll help you. He stands there wanking while his missus gets. F that's that type of geezer. Uh, it can never be me, no. If you're mine, you're mine. Yeah. yeah. We are actually agreeing on a lot. See, she come here to grill me, but I don't. I think she fancies me, to be honest. I might be deluded, but yeah. I reckon if I was older, her age, it'd be a different story. Maybe it ain't a different story. Maybe this is the ball game. Maybe she's a cougar, who knows? You mentioned previously that you said you, you suffer with mental health. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that? Like, how do you regulate it? It's more about uh, learning little habits that I do and and like this time five years ago I was like I had no idea what was going on in my head I mean it felt like I was insane I still get moments now when I feel like I'm insane like generally generally feel like I'm actually going insane I'm not the only person in this world my job does not help like when like people ask me for pictures and shit like this and all this, it doesn't seem real mm. like it doesn't seem like this so is it's like you can't accept the reality that you have Maybe that it doesn't do you help feel my like mental you're health. You're not deserving of the life that you have. Yeah, I'm bad. At my, I'm I bear hard on myself. You do deserve the life that you have. I know people tell me, but no, I. But you need to tell yourself that I, I try deserve to. this life. I I've try worked to. for here. I wouldn't be here if I didn't deserve it. I know, and I wish I could think like that. Every year since I've done this stuff, yeah, I always tell myself this is because it's going really well. This is the peak. Next year, I'm gonna fall off. I actually see myself having to sell my car. Do you believe that you you attract what you think? No, because I think negative nonstop. So, and I'm, I'm but not, then do you not think constantly thinking negative now is going to somewhere down the line just attract negativity to no, come towards you? No, but this is the point. You? I don't choose to. It gets me upset that I think like that. Yeah. And I can never enjoy the moment because I'm constantly thinking like... This is it. I don't deserve it. And I don't know why. I can never give myself gratitude or, or, or credit. And I, I, but maybe that's not to do with your career. Maybe that's to do with something that you have. It is. I don't know what it is. Like, maybe you can heal that. Have you ever done therapy? Yeah, I've done therapy. Which is, I've done it twice over the space of two years. It just ain't for me. Yeah. Like, and I was thinking about tablets and all that stuff. I just don't want to take tablets, but I just, I'm so constantly always anxious or like constantly overthinking something. And people at home must think like, oh, he's on camera, he's so confident, but there's a difference. If, if, I, if I feel like if I didn't have this chemical imbalance in my brain, because that's what it is, because I've looked into all of this stuff, I've been therapy, I've been all this shit. If I don't have this chemical imbalance, I would be fucking powerful. And but you be, are powerful. No, but I'd be 10 times more in a better position than what I am now. I watched this clip and this man said, because I suffered with this too. Um, and he said, look in the mirror, and in the mirror, see yourself as a child. So look at yourself as a child. Mm. How would you speak to that child? Would you say these things to her? Would you say them things to you as a child? If, you, that's, if, he, if your little boy self was in front of you, would you say them things to him? You're not good enough, you're not gonna no, make it. No, of course it. not, I'd tell him. So you, speak to yourself the like in your that. Head. There you go. Yeah, but it's, it's a, it's... But you have to, he said, practice it every morning, look in the mirror, see yourself as a child, speak the words into him that you would speak to him if he was in front of you. I hear it. Tell that little boy, I know. you deserve this, you're great, you're I amazing, know. you're going to keep going. But I think where it's a chemical imbalance is actually like a genuine thing in my brain where I, I struggle to do that. Like, I know full well on paper, I put myself here. I know I put the hard work in. Yeah. I know I'm deserving of it on paper. But like, I just have this doubt in my head that I don't think I'm better than no one. Like, you I don't, don't need to think you're better than anyone. No, no, but in this game, like, if I'm like, shoot, I feel like these are so much funnier than me. Why am I on this platform? Why am I on this platform? These are so much funnier than me. And I have to remind myself, like you said, like you're better than this. To, yeah. And I have people telling me. When my friends tell me, it happens all the time when we're like drunk or whatever. Like they'll be like, I can't lie, you've actually done your fucking thing. Like, and everyone starts talking about me in a positive way. It makes me feel weird. I don't like it. Everyone works hard. You're just in a different position. Mm. That doesn't mean you can't, you can't glorify yourself for being in that position. You've worked hard to be mm. where you are. So if people compliment you, take it. The same way you take on the negative thoughts, you need to take on the positive. Yeah, I know, I just struggle with Because it. it's like you cancel out the positive and you're allowing the negative and that's going to slowly, slowly eat away at you. Yeah, I know, it does. It has been for years. Balance it out. Can't.
try. In my notes, I've got a mental health log diary since 2020. That's healthy. Just jotting down each month of how I'm feeling. That's good though. No, it's good you, to get it out. Read it, it's fucked. Yeah, but if you read it out loud, it releases it. Mum, some of the things I write in there, I think I ain't well. I don't think anyone's well. No, they're not. No. But that's the thing. A lot of people ain't well. And that's just how it is. I've learned to know that. Like, my mind is very twisted, but on the surface, I'm not actually tapped. Like, you wouldn't know half the things that goes on in my head because on the surface, I'm calm. But deep down, what goes on in here is, is yeah, it's a lot. A lot. Of, yeah, it's a lot, man. It's not nice. We can make it better. We'll work through it together. We'll work through it together. So have you enjoyed yourself? I actually have. Was it your best first day ever? It was. Was it? No, it was. I actually do rate you a lot. Forever. You've got a good mindset. Thank you. Yeah, you're not just bare like this generation. No, I'm not this generation. No, you're not. It was actually quite an interesting date. He, he was more than what I expected him to be. There's a lot more substance to him than I thought. Um, he's quite lovely. We shared a lot of the same views and yeah, he was really nice. I actually enjoyed myself. Quite nice, yeah. I didn't feel like it was a grilling. I thought I was just getting to know someone. And I managed to flip his answer on a lot of things. So he wasn't he wasn't taking it as a grilling, he was taking it as constructive criticism. He's definitely a learner. Would you see Michelle again? Yeah, I probably actually would. Yeah, as long as you why not? Off the cuff. I had a good little date. Do you know what I mean? And we seemed to have the same views on stuff. So there, yeah, if it was on the table. I think we would be great friends. Sorry, did I just friend zone him? <laughs> but he also said he wouldn't date anyone with children, so. Yeah, I think she's a salt, and I like her views and stuff. Uh, whether she feels the same about me, then I'm younger than her, but we'll see. I think I would have changed his mind on that one too. I think he would date me with children. I think I am gonna get, I, you can't give me no less than an eight. So I, I, I think this group, I'm gonna give myself a solid nine. Because there's always room for improvement. Nine out of ten, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he was very honest. And he was very um, in-depth. And he was open about a lot of things that men don't really like to talk about. So on all of that as a whole, I'll give him an 8.2. A strong 8.2. It's high. It's high, yeah. I think he earned it. He grafted.